Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. We, uh, we're waiting on that. It's almost here. So what we're trying to do here is we got the tires off the frame and on our dollies. Uh, what we're gonna do is, so the back of the car right now is, is hanging from the ceiling. The front of the car will be hanging from the ceiling in a second. And then we're gonna take this and roll it directly under sideways and then uh, bolt it down and uh, do our thing. Now the idea here is to try to get the 40 in the garage before that happens. So I just wanted to show you this in the middle of the process. We did clean it. We washed it, the frame and everything. So it's where it needs to be. But we're gonna get to it guys. I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute. Good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. I just wanted to show you something kind of cool before we jack it up because I just thought it was neat. So check this out. And as you can see, it's raining behind me. It's been not good. Lightning, thunder, rain. But check this out. For starters, we pulled the 40 in the garage so it didn't get killed. But this is the uh, this is the thing basically on the ground. Uh, with we're getting ready to jack it up, but we've got the two front body mounts in. I've got these in, I've got the ones here with the rubbers, all the rubbers are in, but uh, we're going to jack it up and put the tires back on it. Boy, that engine looks good in there, doesn't it? i tell you what, I, I know I sound weird when I say this, but with this like this, I, if I was going to build one of these for me, I, I would do it the same way, the undercoat and all that. But I think I'd paint it matte white. Matte white on this looks freaking awesome. It, uh, I just like it a lot. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and raise this thing up, put the tires on it, and get it to where we can at least get up and get under it. And uh, we'll come back to you. But uh, this gives you an idea. That's how low we are. <laughs> That's really low. So, anyway, I'm gonna get out of the rain. Look at this shit. We should be painting right now. Terrible. Anyway, we'll bring it back to you here in a little bit when we get the tires on and something else to take a peek at. Thanks for watching Brown's Rod and Custom. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. As you can see, we have a thing. The, uh, Driver side floor is bolted down and done. We still have to do the passenger side, but uh, we got all four paws on the ground, and uh, I think we've uh, figured some things out. So we checked while I had it up in the air. We turned the wheels lock to lock both ways. We do not hit. So we're good on the front. We clear on the front. So for those of you wondering, does a 17 by seven fit without hitting? The answer is yes and it fits under the, uh, the fender as well. And this is with a three inch front drop. So just throwing that knowledge out there, a little nugget. These are the 17 by sevens on the rear with stock ride height, okay? This is where we're at. Pretty happy with that. I think, I know we were talking earlier about possibly going with the bigger fenders and spacers, I'm gonna stick with this. And I've decided I'm not gonna lower the rear. It looks really good. It's got a nice little California rake to it. And I think we're gonna keep it that way. This is what we look like in the back. It's just, I'm so happy. It looks great. I, uh, I heard from Mike at Thing Parts. Uh, my new exhaust is on the way today. So that's exciting. We, uh, for those of you that are wondering, these are 17 by sevens all the way around, okay? 
They're the uh, Classic Raider Falcons. Um, I got them from, I believe it's HD Wheels. They are out of, um, oh, where are they out of? Over by Zephyr Hills. I'll remember, and I'll, Plant City. They're out of Plant City, Florida. These guys were great. Called, told them what I wanted. Wheels came in. They literally got them off the boat and uh, got the tires mounted and called me within a week, and we were ready to rock which is great. I am just in love with the way this thing looks. I think we did really, really good, ladies and gentlemen. I think once we get the front fenders, the hood, the doors, all the things on this, it's just going to be sharp. It's really sharp as it sits. I, uh, I did mock the gas tank up and started just playing with the spacers and what bolts fit, and I cut the rubber hose and I still got to paint that pipe and everything, so don't don't worry. We're not gonna half-ass it with rusty pipes and things. We will get everything right. But I'll tell you, I think this thing's gonna ride pretty good, and I think it's gonna handle pretty good with these wide tires. I uh, I think that might help it, honestly. When I ordered these wheels, I was bouncing between the 15 by five and a halfs. Or the 17 by 7s. I, I like the height of the 17 by 7. I was a little concerned about the width. Uh, but I tell you, I mean, it looks almost like looks like something you find on a Corvette just because it's so little. I know it's only 7 inches wide, but that's, uh, that's some pretty big meat for a Volkswagen thing. We did roll this forward and back. It rolls great. No issues, nothing hitting, no weird noises, nothing nothing crazy. I'm sure we'll have things, but uh, when we go to take our first drives and whatnot, but how fun is this? I mean, look at this thing. I almost wish I was keeping it, to be honest. I mean this. I would paint it matte white. Uh, I just like this. And uh, white fenders, black headlight rings door handles and all that be sharp but we've got red so we're painting it red and we painted the tins red already so it's kind of what's gonna happen but I just thought you guys might want to see this give you some different angles and views it uh, this is it bolted down we are there on the driver's side so passenger side you guys can see a little daylight over there but uh, driver's side is the tank so we're getting close tomorrow um, me and Ron are gonna work on the passenger side and uh, try to get that done and then uh, pretty much mount the windshield frame and then grab the hardtop out of the rain it actually did stop raining which is nice for a minute at least and uh, get the hardtop on there and see what we got to do to make that uh, fasten down and not blow off and do all things. So, anyway, guys, girls, we, uh, we appreciate you watching. Please uh, like our videos and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we're going we're gonna to go to Lay Miz tonight and uh, take care of that and then uh, be right back on this tomorrow. So... Have a great night and we will talk at you.